Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Plus Size in Canada. My name is Miranda, I'm happy that you're here. And welcome to the five minutes of peace that I have in the mornings after I drop my kids off at school and before the little guy that I babysit arrives. Cheers, cheers to the five minutes of peace. This week has been nuts. Uh, it's Wednesday, it's home day. It's Wednesday. And it's basically the busiest week ever, I, like this year so far, okay? So number one, I drove the kids down to school this morning and I got so excited because all I could see was kids' faces. I could see their faces. Curtis drove the kids uh, Monday and Tuesday, so I haven't got to experience the faces yet, but school drop off this morning and looking around, seeing the teachers, seeing the kids and the parents and being able to see them smile. I'm just like, what have we been through the last two years that I am so excited to see someone's actual face? Like Miranda from 2019 had no idea what would make Miranda of 2022 so happy. Honestly, wow, perspective is everything and <laughs> I'm happy to see your face. Oh my heck, people are beautiful. People are absolutely beautiful. The reason why this week has been crazy already and the craziness continues is because it is the beginning of Cooper's middle school basketball team. So he's got practices and games all week, um, again today. Um, but it's also the last week of his provincial basketball team and the provincials are actually this weekend. So he has lots of practices to prepare for that. And then this weekend is like basically a chemical shit storm because it's gonna be basketball, volunteering, games, all of the things. Um, but also this week is the end of Skylar's basketball, the high school basketball team, and also the beginning of the volleyball high school basketball senior boys, blah, blah, blah. And Winnie has basketball this week, but also because this weekend's going to be so busy, um, one of Winnie's best friends, mom and myself, we figured out a play date schedule. So we have those going on as well so that they can have some best friend time and you know, it's not all about the boys all of the time. The girls need to party too. So that also, I mean, you know, <laughs> I have a full-time job of running a YouTube channel. Cheers. <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> but also I babysit full-time on top of my full-time YouTube career. Um, so, you know, that's all schedules and drop-offs and pickups and lunches and snacks and cleaning, you know, cleaning. <laughs> because I live here too. So, you know, I'm in charge of the house. Let's call that a full-time mom job and full-time caretaker. Um, what do you call a cleaner? Full-time housekeeper? Yeah, I'm all, I'm all of that. Full-time taxi driver? Uh-huh, you have that too. I also play the role as family nurse. I had to wrap up Skylar's leg, put on the poly, you know, I had to get all that done. Meanwhile, he's snapping his friends you know, letting them know, ooh, plus size in Canada is changing my bandage this morning. <laughs> I'm also a full-time chef. Did I forget chef? I do everything. I do it all Barbie. That's, that's me. Let's just normalize busy schedules for a moment, okay? If your life is crazy, I see you. I see you. You can do it. I believe in you, okay? Stay out of the Sour Patch Kids. I know they're calling your name. They won't make you feel better, okay? <laughs> but yes, it's very easy for me to see now that I'm in this health journey and trying to take my health and weight loss seriously, um, it's very easy for me to see how I could put myself on the back burner and say, uh, we'll get to it tomorrow, Miranda. Eat the Sour Patch Kids, it's okay. Get the takeout, it's okay. You're busy, I get it, okay? Do what you have to do to survive. And while I lived in that mentality for such a long time, and I totally see why I did, and I totally understand, if that's where you are, hugs and gift cards, okay? Like, I get it, I understand. But for me, this is my life and it's not gonna change. This is the crazy chemical shit storm of everything that's going on. It's crazy and it's beautiful, um, but also it's, it is what it is. I can't change it, so I have to adapt 
my lifestyle so that I can live in it, okay? And how do I do that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Making sure I have healthy food on hand in my fridge, in my pantry, all of the protein, all of the fiber, all of the fruit and veggie, that's one. Taking yourself off of the back burner and saying, Miranda, if you need to have a shower, you're allowed to do that. You, you can have a shower. Miranda, if you need to go outside and get a few minutes of a walk-in, you, you can do that. It's okay. You're allowed. You're a person too, and you matter. That's two. Yes, Miranda, I know you like to control everything. I know no one can do anything in your house as good as you can do it, but that doesn't mean that you have to do everything in your house. Even if something's not done to your standard, it can still get done and it can still be okay. You don't have to control every situation by doing it yourself. Ask for help. That's okay too. That's three, four, I don't know. <laughs> but really probably the most important thing is to just do the best you can. Just do the best you can in the day that you're in and don't worry about what's coming tomorrow because tomorrow you're just gonna do the best you can too. Don't compare your life to anyone else's. Don't look at Sandra's life and think, oh damn, Sandra, you got it together. What's wrong with me? Sandra doesn't got it together. <laughs> Not even a little bit. She's actually worse off than you. She just puts on a better act, okay? So don't worry about Sandra. Don't worry about Barb. Don't worry about Ashley, okay? Don't worry about anybody else. Just take care of you, your monkeys your circus, your peanuts, your popcorn, your cotton candy. Wow, okay, this took a turn. Miranda's time for some healthy breakfast. <laughs> Don't forget to be nice to yourself, okay? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Be nice to yourself. Look back at what you've been through, okay? You've been through a lot and no one even knows how much you've been through but you. So be nice to you. Okay, hug yourself. Mm. <laughs> How's that for some motivation, guys? If you have a friend that you feel like needs this little pep talk, this hot mess express pep talk, then send this video to your bestie and let her know she's doing a good job. If you're new here, and you like what you see, then hit subscribe and join our family here on Plus Size in Canada the friendly corner of the internet.
Hey guys, it's been a pretty crazy day. Got lots of stuff cleaned up around the house. I feel so much more organized. Um, and it was cute when Winnie um, came home from school. Of course, the first thing the kids do is look in the pantry. And she looked in the pantry and said, wow, mom. And she took out one of everything and then offered it to her friends for a snack. It was so cute. Um, also, what you didn't see in the middle of me painting my nails, um, I got a call from Skylar saying, uh, mom, I didn't pack a lunch. Can you bring me some food? So me with my wet nails, <laughs> grabbed some things out of the pantry. I popped a bag of popcorn, grabbed a Gatorade and went to the school to drop that off. Um, anyways, Cooper has a game right now. It's like almost, it's like it starts in two minutes. That's why I'm getting Skylar to hold the phone now um, to vlog me so I can get right in there and watch the game. This is with his middle school team and it's only their second game ever. Hopefully it goes better than the first game because they got way blown out at that game and that's all we're gonna say. Um, but anyways, the plan is we're going to watch the game and then Winnie's friend is going to meet us there. She's gonna watch her brother, who's also on the same team as Cooper. Um, and then she's gonna come over to our house for supper and for a play date. We already did Winnie's homework. I feel like the day is going pretty well. Um, we did have a, a very close near miss while I was attempting to walk two dogs. Um, there was a dog from the neighborhood. We were walking around my parents' subdivision. Um, bear with me guys, the roads here are terrible down by the school. Um, anyways, yeah, a dog that, he's not a stray dog, but he was a loose dog. And um, he seemed nice, but also he was unleashed and there were no adults around. So I was like, girls, come over here, girls, 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 stay by me. And I'm trying to like round up the dogs and I was all tied up in a leash. Um, and anyways, a neighbor friend, which I just met, um, came out because he saw us through the window that this other dog was not being threatening, but definitely like gonna make my dogs jump and possibly take off and run. So it was a close call. But in the end, the guy came out. What did he say, Winnie, the neighbor friend? What, what did he say to the dog? Yeah. <laughs> That's what they say. He said, get, go home now, get. <laughs> and it sent him back it's home, right? Chipping, chipping. All right, let's go watch some basketball. Skylar also has a volleyball tryout after this game. And Cooper has another basketball practice right after this game too at a different gym. The other team is running late, so we decided to take a look around. You see it? 2003, that's the year mommy graduated. Let's see if we can find. I see me and I see daddy already. We're right beside each other. Does anybody see us? How are you guys beside each other? Oh, because God knew we were meant to be together. We were always beside each other. There's me. <laughs> I know. And there's Daddy. Dad looks super. <laughs> Dad looks little. Cuties. That's a little, little, little. Mm -hmm. There's my brother, Uncle Josh. And there's Curtis's brother, Uncle Nay. And Aunt Jen's all the way at the top right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's Aunt Donnie, my sister. There's Aunt Kimber. What do you think, Gwen? <laughs> I wasn't kidding about the afros in my family, guys. Here's my uncle. He's the RCMP officer, Uncle Roy. Don't tell anyone. We had to sneak down a different hallway to find my mom, but I found her. 1975. <laughs> There's my mama. And there's my dad, 1976. Look how handsome. Everyone thought he looked like John Denver. <laughs> come on, Wynn. <laughs> she was so nervous to come down here. I was like, we'll just be sneaky. It's okay. <laughs> Am I setting a bad example? <laughs> it's not like it's the first time. <laughs> Oh, 
Nice pass. Come on, Coop. Ah, good try, bud. Disney movie. I'm shaking so bad. <laughs> How was that? Good. You stressed? Not anymore. Was that the most stressful game ever? Yeah. Woo! And now he's on his way to another practice, which we are now late for. That's okay because pretty much everybody that's on that team was on this team, um, all except for one actually. And Skylar's staying at the school for volleyball tryouts. And I gotta go home and cook a few girls some supper. <laughs> All right, 
I'm having a quick supper on the go. I had an orange while I was cooking the girls' craft dinner. I have one slice of whole wheat bread in there with butter on both sides. I'm grilling it. I'm doing an open face grilled cheese, sloppy joe deliciousness. So I just had an orange. The girls are looking at me. Everly's like, this is Winnie's friend, Everly. You want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> she doesn't understand the YouTube thing, but that's okay. All the veggies, extra cheese. I'll show you what it looks like. It's going to be delicious. There's even a little bit of bacon in there, you guys. Leftover ground beef from yesterday. And red peppers and red onions. And then with a little sweet baby ray. Ooh, maybe a little too much. I got out some of the sauce. I'm trying to do this with one hand, you guys. It's not easy. The struggle. The struggle is real. Making a big mess. But I add some ketchup into that as well. I'm going to put it on my grilled bread. That's right. It's perfect. Need a little extra on the bread. You guys are crazy. <laughs> Ooh, look at that beef. That's lots. Perfect. You gotta have some cheese. Oh, hell yeah. This is gonna be great. And then, a little bit of that magic mustard. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, yeah. It's really good. Normalize standing in the kitchen <laughs> to eat <laughs> your supper um, because you got five minutes till you need to go pick up another kid. Um, and I still got to clean. You know what I mean? <laughs> At least I'm eating. I'm take a bite, wash the dish. Take a bite, wipe the counter. This is my life. <laughs> Look what Wynn drew for me, you guys. Look, it's SpongeBob and his pineapple house. <laughs> I love it. Did you have fun with your friend? Yeah. Yeah? Now go get ready for bed. Cause I'm done. <laughs> the amount of times that I left my house and came back to my house today. It's not a record, but it's close. Like we've been doing this so much recently. Curtis was here the other day and he was like, how do you, how do you do this? I, I'm not getting a minute to sit down. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> yeah. The gang's all here. Even Jazzy wanted to be here. All right, guys, we're going to end the vlog together. As a family, it's eight o'clock and we're all back together again. We will see you back here tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye. See you. You're a good boy. <laughs>